so I've got my gooseberries and I'm just stewing them on the hob now. I've added two tablespoons of sugar, but I've just tasted it and actually I don't even think it needed that. So I could easily have got away with one tablespoon of sugar. So I'm just stewing these down to extract as much of the juice from them as possible. And then I'll show you the next stage. So I've stewed the gooseberries for five minutes or so, and now I'm going to put them in a sieve. I'm going to put them in a sieve and strain them through the sieve to try and extract all the juice out. So you can see that's yielded quite a lot. What's left in here doesn't need to go to waste. That will be perfect with some yogurt later. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side. Now, as you can see what I've got here, I'm just mixing it together. So I'm just having a taste just to see how sweet it is. Do you know that's actually really perfect? because it's got it's still got a bit of a tang in it which i think will be perfect as a lolly so um we need to let this cool down a bit and then we are going to put it in our containers so whilst that's cooling down i'll just show you what i'm using so i'm i would suggest just saving any anything you've got that is freezeable to go um, in the freezer you don't need the specialist um containers um, I'm going to use these cups, they're metal cups, and then you just need teaspoons. Okay, so to make the lollies, all you need are containers to put the lollies in. I'm using these metal cups, teaspoons, your pureed fruit of whatever it is you're using. So I'm using gooseberries, as I said. Um, and I'm adding a bit of water as well and that's it you just pour it in I'm going to see if I can pour it from this bowl okay not easily let's start that again okay I'm going to use my funnel <laughs> now I'm not filling these all the way up because I'm going to dilute them slightly So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water to each one because they're quite strong. And then all you've got to do is put your spoon in. So I'm just going to mix it just to make sure it's fully mixed. And then put your spoon at an angle, making sure that it's, it's leaning. I'm going to just add a bit more water to this one. Maybe this one too. And that's it. Now we'll put them in the freezer and see how they turn out tomorrow. Let's just make... So we've just got home from school. We've had the lollies in the freezer all night. Here they are. Can you see? They look good. We've now got to see what they're like. I think what I'm going to do is just run them under some hot water for a minute so they come out of the container easily. Back in a moment. So moment of truth. Woo! There we go. There's the lolly. Tell me what you think, Martha. Good. Is it really tasty? Yeah? Take your cup, maybe, then just in case you drop it. So it's got a thumbs up from Martha. What flavour is it? Um, gooseberry. Gooseberry. Here's my one. Oh, wow. 
That is amazing. That is gorgeous. There you go, lollies for pennies. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.